Hey everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. So I had to go out of town for an appointment so I stopped into a different Dollar Tree that I have not been to and they had a bunch of really cool stuff and they had um, a really nice supply of gardening items so in preparation for spring coming if the snow ever melts I got some garden goodies and a couple other things that my local Dollar Tree normally doesn't have in stock and I haven't seen there for a really long time or never seen there but first before we go any further I wanted to say thank you to Rebecca I got your package today. Oh my goodness. You are the best. You're the best. <laughs> Rebecca knows that I'm a little wild in the kitchen and I like to light potholders on fire. I've burned many, many, many. I destroy them. So Rebecca sent me a couple pairs of, of gloves that are fire resistant so I do not light them on fire. These, I cannot wait to try these out. They look so good. And I am like, I'm always in the fire, the wood stove, we've got like campfire season is coming up and I will be out there more often. And these are gonna be handy so I don't burn myself or light the whole neighborhood on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. They're awesome. And she also sent a beautiful card. It is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. it. Says thank you so much with a little birdie on it with a handwritten note inside. Rebecca, I am so happy to share with all of you guys. I just love that I have this opportunity to share what we do and how we do things. And if it helps anybody, that just makes it so much better. I love that. So, and I love that all of you are so helpful in the comment section, helping each other, sharing ideas. That is awesome. I just love that. So, thank you, Rebecca. And thank you, everyone, for all your kindness and greatness that you guys are just awesome. I am so blessed. Let's jump into this haul. So, for starters, I'll start with the garden goodies. And I did find these grow bags, which I have never seen at a Dollar Tree before. They're jumbo garden grow bags. It says 30 inch by 28, 24 inch. I thought we'd just open one of these up and see the size here and how is it made oh good is it yes oh good i like to grow and grow bags they are really handy and it's nice because you can move them if you need to uh, so that is a great thing and this has some handles on it this one is huge these would be great for potatoes this thing is really big but it's got a nice gusseted bottom, so it's gonna sit good when you pour your stuff in. And it is a huge, huge grow bag. Look at that bad boy. How good for a dollar, geez, that's awesome. I, I don't know why, I wasn't thinking they were quite that big, but that is awesome. And I'm not, it's kind of a plasticky material. It's like that woven grain bag stuff, but I would just, because of the material, I'd probably poke a couple holes in the bottom just to make sure that the water is able to drain out. You don't get root rot, stuff like that. So um, that is the only thing that I might do to this, but we will see how it goes. We're gonna try to grow in these this year and see how it goes, because I've never seen grow bags at the Dollar Tree before. So that was a super one to find. I was excited about that. So they probably would be really good for potatoes because they are quite big and um, they have handles but I don't know if you could move that once it's full of dirt. And then they did have some of the LED lanterns in and these just take a couple, three AAA batteries and um, these work really, really well and for only a buck 
You can't have too many lights for emergencies kicking around the house. We love these lanterns because, you know, you can carry them around. They don't get hot. They're LED. We just love these. Um, all kinds of them. And then I grabbed a set of garden tools. <clears throat> these from the Dollar Tree are really, they're quite sturdy. I have another set that I've had for probably three or four years, but I grabbed an extra set specifically to keep out in the greenhouse because we have like gardens near the house where we keep herbs and some of our raised beds, but then we have greenhouses out and um, I, I'll always get out there and I forget, I don't have the tools with me, I forget to bring them out there and then I've got to make a trip back. So this way I figured if I have an extra set, I can just leave them in the greenhouse and I will have them. So for only a buck a piece, it's definitely a good deal. And then, let's see, more goodies, more garden goodies. Um, they had a twist tie with a cutter, a little dispenser and a cutter and an extra roll of tie, which these little wire ties are great for when you're, you know, tying your tomatoes to steaks or getting, you know, when you start training stuff, these are awesome. And this is quite a lot. You get 75 feet of tie material and it's it's nice and thin like a little um like a twist tie for a garbage bag so it's not going to hurt your plants but it'll work and it'll stay together and they also had these 10 piece little um garden stakes these are great for those plants something new you're planting or like i have a really hard time remembering what i put where because we have little uh, raised beds and then we have other like herb beds and flower beds and we have raised beds over there and we have greenhouses out there and I can't remember where I put stuff so I do love these for that then I can figure out what the heck I did because I don't know after 40 you start falling apart swear to god and then I found this cute pair of garden gloves just little stretchy and with the um, rubber inside, which is great, especially in the spring, digging in all that compost. And, uh, and then they had these little wire baskets. And I have been wanting a couple of these for my front porch for quite a while. But, and I wanna grow herbs in them, is what we are going to do. And they have the little hanger and everything they even have the S hook, so if your hook is too high and you want it a little bit lower, um, they have the S hooks there as well. I have a bunch of them, so I didn't buy any. Um, but they have the little coconut liners that go inside them and fit them as well, so I thought that was great. So we can get some herbs started in these in the house, and then once it is warm enough outside, we can get these babies outside. And that will be perfect just a little extra place for more herbs and because um, we do quite a bit of herbs and vegetables we like to grow everything so then let's see here is uh, a roll of jute twine always handy in the garden we make our own trellises usually and stuff a couple copper pipes or or wood stakes or whatever and just run some twine works great and then this is another thing I've never seen before is a soaker hose at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I was shocked. So it is 118 inches long, three meters, and it is this little soaker hose. So I thought that was really cool. And it has got, I don't know if you can see them, but it has got just a couple little holes, like two holes here, two holes here to there just to let that water come out so you've got a soaker hose these are great in you know if you've got a hose to hook up and you're not hand watering these are great for that the little garden beds things like that perfect i've never seen soaker hoses there but i thought that was neat and then i grabbed a couple oh that's for a project 
I want to try. Um, I grabbed these plant clips, and these are just, they hook. So instead of the wire ties, these hook around the base of your plant, and you can hook them to the garden stake like that, so it'll hold the trunk of the plant like your tomatoes or anything that you want to go up. Those work perfectly for. And that was really cool. There was 10 big ones and 10 little ones in this kit. So I wanted to try those. And then the, I found this nautical rope. And this is just jute natural rope. I have been looking at some fire starters online that are with jute and a tube, uh, tubes, I can't remember what they're called. But I wanted to try to make some myself. And um, so I picked up a couple packs of the jute rope so I could do that. And um, I just gotta get the size tube that will fit it now. And then we'll try it out. <laughs> I love to do that. And then I found these bungee cords. I haven't seen these at my local Dollar Tree for a very long time. And these are so handy. I love bungee cords. They are great for so much stuff. I just love these. I thought that was great. And you get six um, different size ones in here, all different sizes, small, medium size. So I was pretty excited about that. Two minis, two 12 inch and two 18 inch. Those are always handy. And then I picked up some AAA batteries to go with the lantern and to go with this little work light I found. I've never seen one of these at Dollar Tree. So I thought we'd toss some batteries in it and see how it works. And let's see, it takes three triple A's. We've had a bunch of the lanterns and I buy flashlights all the time, but I have never seen this little work light. I want to see how this works. And it's nice to have something that will stand up and you can kind of point it at what you're doing, especially if you have to go to the garage or working on the generator or something at night in an emergency. I thought this would be super handy just to keep right near the generator was my idea. And then if I can get it back together, not very mechanically inclined. There we go. All right, so it's got a little flashlight there. Oh, there on the side. That's nice and bright. That would definitely, that'll definitely brighten it up. You'll be able to see at night and then you can turn that one on. That's pretty cool. Awesome, that's nice and handy. A little carry handle. You could probably hang it up and it will sit. You can sit it like that so the light's shining up. Super handy, not bad for a dollar. I'm excited about that. And then I found two packs of the green glow sticks. Our Dollar Tree does not have much glow sticks. I don't find them there very often. I was excited to find these and they had the green. We like these the best for um, keeping for emergencies. Uh, the kids like all the random colors, but I like the green. They, you can see really good with them at night if you need to use them for that. And then we also have, I grabbed three different locks. These combination locks are great. They tell you how to set the combination so you can pick your own. You don't have to keep what's in there. And uh, that's great. We love these combination locks. And then I picked up two different padlocks. Uh, I just got these for extras. I wanted to have extra locks so when we need them for something, if we have to lock anything up. Um, we have locks and I have lost keys before and I thought these would just be nice to have in an emergency. It'll be nice and handy and I won't have to worry about running to the store. And that is it for my haul today. Uh, we got quite a bit of garden goodies and a couple of really good items for our preps. And I love this little flashlight. This is gonna be so handy to keep near the generator. I could probably keep it right on top. And in case there are any issues with it, I could keep it right in the cubby where it has like a little housing we keep over it. So uh, it won't get wet and that'll be good. 
And that's it for today. Have you found anything new at the Dollar Tree lately that would be great for preps or garden goodies or what have you found that you loved from Dollar Tree lately? I would love to know and I'm sure other people would love to know as well because you never know what you're going to find there. It's always something different and some of them are super buys for a buck. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!